The more hits we play, the more hits we get. So you painful, dude. So painful you had me cranked. Mike was hot. Oh, it's no. Yeah. Now we're okay. What's up, Cameron Ali? I'm crabby today. You were happy. You were fine when you came in. I know, but I just started thinking about it. I don't like the band Fun, and I just don't think that they should have as much <laughs> success as they have. And it's really, it's dwelling on my conscience. What do you have against Fun? Uh, they bother me. Oh, they're fine, right? They're not fun, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> they are not a fun group. It's funny because when they won Best New Artist, mm-hmm. they specifically wanted to point out that they have been working on becoming famous for like 20 years. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, yeah, it's funny that we got Best New Artist because we've been around. Yeah, it's well, like nobody 86. freaking knows you, douchebag. Yeah, just be happy. You won Best New Artist. Exactly. Shut up and accept it. You just won a freaking Grammy. I will slap you in the mouth. We will take that Grammy back. Yeah, we should. We should. We took it back from Millie Well, Vanilli. thanks for pointing that out. I should take that Grammy back then since you're not new. Hey, guess what? You're the only artist that have struggled to become famous. Right? Yeah. <laughs> let, let's give it to Frank Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> he deserves it. There are really no new artists if you think about it. Right. Everybody's exactly. been working on their career for 10 to 15 years. Yeah. Very unless, rarely does that happen. Unless, like, literally, like, January 1st, this guy's like, I'm recording an album. Yes. Puts it out by January 31st. It right. blows up. But in February. In February, and then the Grammys. And then Grammys. Yeah. That's new artist. You're right. Screw you, fun. Yeah, fun. You're not fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and w- I, I think that there's some weird hand disease going around, too, because yes. I, I told you when you came into the studio today, I'm like, Cam... My head, thumb hurts. Like, it really hurts. When I press a, ow, and you're like, oh, my God. Yeah, funny you should mention. <laughs> so this morning, as I'm taking a shower, I realize I have no feeling in my pinky. Your your pinky has lost feeling. Yeah. So I think I'm having a stroke as we speak. <laughs> I'm stroking out. And I'm going with the other theory of there's just a weird hand disease going around. Yeah. I mean, I think I have a thumb tumor. You could, could. or an STD of the hand. <laughs> no. Hand thumb warts. No, I don't. Thumidia. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Thumidia. Right? Yeah. No, it just really hurts. It's the fleshy part right there. Ow. Ah, the good part is <laughs> the good cut, as the Donner Party would say. <laughs> Breakfast, <laughs> breakfast, <laughs> as Donner Party would say. <laughs> ah, that's a good oh, story. Oh, who else just uh, came out that they eat a bunch of people? The Jamestown Colony. Yeah, yeah, Jamestown. Not like people. Jamestown, North Dakota, for the listeners. Yeah, but I North wouldn't doubt Dakota. it. Wouldn't they do have like either. buffalo crap throwing contests. <laughs> it's buffalo chips. Uh, yeah. I know, because it's not politically correct to say crap (laughs) or the thing that rhymes with chips. Of sorts, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I guess the Jamestown party eat people too. Yeah, well, it just goes to show that we are animals. No, we are not. Could you eat a person? Even if your life depended on it? Honestly, this is, this is, I I did some research. Like, (laughs) oh, that's right. We've had had this cannibalism discussion. This Donner thing, like, really affected me for a while. But I know. What, what, what movie was it? You're like, dude, you got to watch this. The Donner Party. Was it the Donner Party? It was called, like, The Forlorn Hope or something. It was about the group that broke off and went and tried to find help. Crispin Glover's in it, dude. Love Crispin Glover. And he's insane in this show. He's definitely not, you know, McFly. <laughs> right? But yeah, so that movie really messed you up. It made me think. And so the deeper I dove into it, yeah. It there's an animal instinct to survive. So I dying guess. of hunger is, you know, like you will resort like because you you don't think clearly. You know oh, what I mean? God, though. Cam, you will resort you? to some insane crap when it gets that bad. And the thing is, right now, you and I could sit here and be like, never. I know. No way. But wait until it happens. Wait until you are, like, basically there. Oh, God. And Just you can't thought, do though. anything else. Yeah, exactly. Well, okay. I'm not going to say never because you should never say never about anything. Right. But um, I, I think the only way I could possibly do it is if I didn't see it processed. Yeah. And if somebody just cooked it and handed it to me. Right. But what if you were the only survivor? 
Dun, dun, dun. Right? Oh, gosh, Cap. I don't know. Like, what part of the human would make the best bacon? <laughs> <laughs> I freaking love bacon. And I want to find the best part. <laughs> Hannibal Cam. I have Cam. to say, out of all of the processed meats, bacon, surely my favorite as right? well. Right? Bacon yeah, is... it's good stuff. As they would say in the hood, hella good. <laughs> Bacon is amazing. Yeah. Uh, there's not much you can't put it in. I would eat a dog treat called Bacon Strips because <laughs> it tastes like bacon. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I it would. does not taste that much like bacon. How would you know? <laughs> I tried. <laughs> See, now this is the thing. I'm just assuming because it's called Bacon Strips. Right? No, they don't taste like it's bacon. Made out at of like all. cornmeal and horse, yeah. so it's a lot like going to Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> I heard their new Chipotle Whopper is super good. Oh, I bet it's amazing. I've been trying not to eat fast food, though, because my 39th birthday's coming up here. Yeah. And I Holy really am trying. Holy crap, dude. Oh, screw you. Yeah. You're going to have, what, like your 38th or 37. something? 37. Give yeah, me, forget me some you. Slack. You know what? I, I The other day, I thought I was only 35. Yeah. And then it hit me. <laughs> I was like, God, for real? <laughs> we actually went out for pizza after last night's game yeah and i hadn't really eaten yucky food in mm-hmm. a couple weeks yeah and i was so sick last night i was doubled over in stomach pains really because i hadn't honestly had like greasy yucky food in a while i made a delicious pizza last night did you yes hmm. what kind? with swiss chard and baby clams get out of town freaking a what kind of a uh, sauce did you use an olive oil or a it was uh basically the reduction? sauce was like olive was it a white oil sauce? Yeah. White wine vinegar, a little bit of clam juice, bacon grease. Oh, get out of town. And did Swiss you, chard. Did you then, crumble up bacon then and put it on there? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. We should come over to your house for pizza. I don't know why you don't. <laughs> I'm like gourmet pizza guy. You know? I know. I didn't think of it. I honestly, sorry. It you just never think of it. It didn't occur I'm to me. I'm always an afterthought. To bring the family over to your yeah. house I always pizza. say, bring the kids. You're like, no. Not I don't want to expose my children to you. Yeah, exactly. But I do want your pizza. It's good. Oh, yeah, we had like meat pizza. Yeah, that's good too. Oh, it was great. Unless you're a vegetarian. But uh, so I was just miserable. All last night. I didn't fall asleep till like 1230. Yeah, man, I was tired, right? So I slept, but yeah. I just didn't want to wake up. So I'm like really dragging today. You are. Yeah. You have progressively gone downhill. Yeah. You walked in, you're like, hey, you were fine. Getting worse as it goes, right? Uh, yeah. I think maybe when I walked in, it was a facade. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was like, you know what? I'm going to totally BS my way through this morning. Yeah. Right? Like bull crap session with Stacy. Right. And then you're just going to like totally gonna, hit rock once bottom. Once we hit the air, I'm just going to be like, you know, screw it. I'm going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> And usually it's the opposite. Right? I am totally me until we hit the air. And then I'm like, hey, everybody, everything's great. It's yeah. sunny in Bismarck, man, Dan. Yeah. Everybody have a wait. wonderful day. I love everything about life. I love everybody. I love everything. Yeah. I'm not frustrated about anything in my life. Me neither. <laughs> yeah. I have a huge long list of things I want to change before I'm 40. I thought you were going to say zit when you said <laughs> I have a huge. I did not expect long list before 40 to come up. I heard zit. What? I don't know, because sometimes I think I can see into the future. <laughs> and so at that point, I was like, man, I'm totally going to call this, right? I was going to finish your sentence for you. <laughs> no. Yeah. It was like a love story. We're like a romantic comedy. Oh, we're a comedy, all right. But that's not romantic. There's at so all. much romance involved. <laughs> you know, remember the rumor? Yeah, you started it. You're the only one that believed it, and you're the only <laughs> one that participated in it. No, Suki Technically, played. it's not Suki a rumor. Pl- Suki played. Yeah, you were the only two. Technically, it's not a rumor unless it hits at least like five We told people. everybody. We nobody told everybody. Nobody believes it, though. Everybody believed it. Everybody's no, like, nobody I'm it. like, yeah, dude, she's not as, as uh, straight and narrow as you would assume. Well, that's true, but See? the rest of it's wrong. You everybody know, knows that. You know what I'm thinking? I have no idea half the time what you're thinking. Tropical island um, deodorant. Right? Like a pina colada type scent <laughs> deodorant. Don't they have something like that already? 
And probably for women. Yeah. Right. I'm talking men. Oh. You think there's a lot of men that want to smell like a pina colada out there? I would. I would love to smell like a pina colada. <laughs> what brought this about? All day long. I don't know. I imagined a beach. <laughs> and I was, I was like, how can I capitalize on the beach? On the feeling of the beach. Yeah. I don't know. I think you guys need something stronger than pina colada, honestly. Like, girls, we can pull it off because... We, yeah. you know, we're very thorough with everything, you yeah. know, perfumes and lotions and deodorants and... Which I think is gross. Smelly gross. What? I think too much of that stuff's disgusting. Uh, right? Don't you what think... Am I, today? am I overpowering today? No, you're not. Okay. But do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's oh, too Sometimes much. if you can smell a lady walking down the street, you're like, whoa, I can't even imagine what you smell like inside. You know what I hate? Yeah. Chapstick. Why do you hate chapstick? Uh-huh. I don't like kissing people with chapstick. Just don't kiss Because I'm like, I chose not to put crap on my lips today. <laughs> and here you are putting chapstick on my lips. I don't like to put anything on my lips either because I talk a lot. And so it wa- it wipes off. Or I don't know. I, I don't do it either. I have perfect soft lips. I never get chapped lips. <laughs> and that's because I've never used chapstick. You can build up a tolerance to that. So for all the ladies out there that want to kiss me... <laughs> I am chapstick free, yeah, yeah baby. Um, also, don't be offended if you're wearing chapstick and make you and I crap. wipe my kiss. <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't want no greasy lipped lady. Exactly. I will do it right in front of you. I won't even be nonchalant about it. I will. I'll use your sleeve to. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking with. Um... Is, is that why the ladies like me? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just one of the many reasons why people are just beating down your door. I know. It's amazing. It's insane. I told somebody, and they didn't believe me this yesterday, but I'm like, I don't own any lipstick. That's good. Like, I don't ever use Stuff's it. Stuff's made out of fish scales. <laughs> well, maybe it's got some omega-3s in it. No, but it like dries out your lips, and then, or it washes off right away onto stuff, or it gets on your cup, or your right. pop can, or whatever. And by the way, you should wipe your pop can before you drink it. There's funkiness on top of that. But anyway... <laughs> um, uh, and Health then, tip number one. And then there's the permanent like kind of lipstick that lasts eight hours. Yeah. But that's just like paint, man. Word. And you and know what I it hurts. Think? It hurts your lips. Just tattoo your freaking lips. No, what if you don't like that color? What well, if you want to shake a it color a little that bit? you like. How do you know you're going to like it two months from then? Well, I don't know. I would like to get the rest of my makeup tattooed on, though, because yeah. I wouldn't have to be so lazy. I'd like to lazy. tattoo on like a curly mustache. <laughs> <laughs> just always have that. You should look like the Pringles guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or or <laughs> Mr. Planter, you know, I'll get a monocle. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you buy monocles? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I could find one, though. I wonder, because um, I forget why I, was, I looked for one a while back. Hmm. I'm just going to Google shop and see if I can find um, monocles for sale. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Pretty sure <laughs> if you hit up Amazon Prime... For sale. Right? People <clears throat> that are see. listening? Amazon Prime. There's a glass handheld monocle on a website called Gentleman's Emporium. Hello. Hello, Governor. Yeah. Gentleman's Emporium. I must say, your tea looks smashing today. <laughs> it's only eight ninety five. dollars See? Cam, cheap. you totally have to get yourself a monocle. Yeah, and then i got to change my entire wardrobe. i got to wear like three-piece suits. No. And I need a pocket watch. Mix it up uh, a little it's, bit. It's quarter past three. <laughs> you just have to mix it up a little bit. So you could wear like a gentleman's monocle and a top hat. And then the rest of your clothes just like regular punk <laughs> Just regular, out. just do it. But then a black suit coat. Yeah, that's a good idea. I got a uh, velvet one. Next look for you. Or velour. Yeah. Gentleman's Emporium. Um, Gold tone monocle. So I'm thinking. Okay. Like, when would I use the monocle? Like, oh, I need to read something with one eye. Just use it all the time. Just constantly keep it in? Yes. <laughs> you know, eventually, evolution will kick in, and I will look like uh, Popeye, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I'm strong still to finish. <laughs> or just randomly put it in. You know, it doesn't have to be. <clears throat> but seriously, like, what purpose were they ever there? Was it for reading with one eye? Well, okay, yes, uh, not yes and no, because back in the day too, 
you could put it up and, and squint and read something, but also with it being on a chain, you could hold it down and magnify oh, whatever you were you reading. You could kill too. bugs, too. You could. You right. could kill ants. You should kill bugs with it. At the same time. Yes. So you could, you could either read it up in your eye, or you could take it down <laughs> and scan the page. All right. That's Depending perfect, on. man. That's technology, Who man. doesn't want a monocle now? I know. Plus, they were just stylish. People with monocles had money. That's true. So Everybody would, else just didn't read. I would be a liar. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. When are we starting the Renaissance Fair? Boy, I don't know. That's a good question. We, uh, do we have to get a permit, you think? Yeah, I think we probably. Should we do it? How big of a fair are we going to host? It's just me and it's just this area. It's just right like here. right out in front of the station? Yeah. I don't think we need a permit for that then. No? No, I'd be like if it's a sidewalk display from a business. Okay. But then we call it Renaissance Fair. <laughs> Even though it's one tent in front of the <laughs> yeah. building. <laughs> yeah, I think it'd be awesome. I have to figure out when I'm going to get my costume. Which one are you, what are you going to be? A wench? No, I'm going to be the queen. <laughs> I get the queen costume anyway for the regular Renaissance Fair. Oh, okay. So I am might as well get the use out of that, right? I want to be the executioner. Like black headdress. Yeah, where I just sit there with a black hood and an axe. Yeah. <laughs> Serving turkey legs. <laughs> <laughs> right, but I don't say a damn word. I just no. sit there and I'm like, turkey. <laughs> Okay. I'm wearing like a sleeveless black shirt. Yeah. And I don't have any muscles whatsoever. Just hairy, skinny arms. And then the whole bondage executioner <laughs> mask. Yeah. yeah. And you need some leather wristbands. Oh, yeah. Yeah. With, with spikes, spikes on them. them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I think that'd be great. And then. Uh, all right. He stops by every day and. Rocks, rocks on me. Throws the horns up? Yeah, throws the horns up. Hey, you know, sometimes it's good to keep those people on your side. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He uh, might go crazy and shoot up everybody else. Not you, though. Not me. Right? He's going to save me. Exactly. Or if one of his crazy friends decides to shoot up people, he'd be like, no. Spare her. Spare Stacy. Yes. Spare. Spare the lady. Like a nine. Yeah. So, so anyway, what are we talking about? I don't know. <laughs> you shouldn't you go to school? <laughs> we're gonna. We're basically gonna do it all. I know it's already eight thirty. We've covered fifteen topics. Yeah, and yet not got a damn thing done. I think we got a lot done. We you made a lot of people happy out there today. Do you think so? Yeah, I get that all the time from people. Really? <laughs> no. Damn. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Everybody out there today. Yeah. I want you all to email Stacy, S T A C Y at urlradio dot net, yes. or post to the Facebook page. Yes, that we made your day today. That we made you happy. Usually, it's, Diane Lapp will. And tell us how we made you happy. Diane Lapp will email me when she hears something funny or something that has delighted her. <laughs> Our new goal, yes, is to make people happy. That's awfully lofty. No, every day. There's going to be no more negativity on this show. A lot of pressure. I've been trying to change that in you for quite some time. <laughs> Screw you. I come in and I'm all like, life's great. Bubbles and candy and unicorns. <laughs> and you're all like, there is no God. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's wrong with you people? Why have you forsaken me? It's a world? conspiracy. All of this. All I want to do is make people and happy. And politics is wrestling. It is. Um, I think my theory is right. Yeah. And if we make you happy by that comment. Then I guess we've done our job for today. Yeah. What do you think made hap- made people happy today? I think today was the uh, reference that fun is no- really fun. <laughs> fun was a bunch of whiny bitches. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Exactly. I think you're right. Fun <clears throat> is not... We should never play fun on this station ever again. All right. You know? They want to talk about how long they've been around. Well, we haven't heard of you, buddy. <laughs> and we, we will make sure that nobody hears you again. I am actually a little bit tired of fun because we played them like two years ago. I mean, we've played them for a long time. Yeah. And then they finally just became popular. I sort of do agree with fun. Like, what the hell took people so long to catch on in the first place? But I kind of agree that people shouldn't have caught on in the first place. <laughs> 
I just don't like it. <sighs> Anybody else? Any other group that I need to take out of the playlist? Um, <clears throat> the Beatles. Don't play any Beatles. Oh, you are a liar. <laughs> Those You're guys liar. suck. They're bad news. <laughs> they were into drugs, and I don't appreciate that. They did set a bad example for an entire generation. They did, yeah. I think they introduced the entire world to acid. I do. I think people had an inkling, but then they're like, well, the Beatles are going to do it. Yeah, they seem normal. <laughs> Look how successful and operational they <laughs> yeah. are. Right? Well, Picture you yourself, too. whatever, on a river, tangerine trees. And, and marshmallow skies. Yeah. <laughs> Lucy in the sky. Right? I mean, come on. He's so messed up. Such a good song, though. It is. It Everything is. they did was so awesome in their LSD induced state. Yeah. I love drugged up Beatles. Tomorrow, much never more knows, than sober Beatles. And the last song on Revolver. Mm. That one's a trip, man. And it's actually, if you, uh, the, the song yes. was John Lennon taking you through a trip. Oh, I'm going to have to check that out. I don't remember what the last, what the song was. Turn off song your is. mind, relax, and float downstream. <laughs> oh god to have as much money as they did where you could just sit around and, and take just LSD trip. all day yeah <laughs> and not worry about it no who cares we're the freaking beatles only to be shot in front of central park i know after you get everything together after you get your life together yeah, it sucks right that yeah, does suck yeah oh all right on that end note i am 